What's up guys and welcome to another video. This is our second video of 2019. We decided to do things a little bit differently this time. We're firstly going to make some uh, homemade donuts from puff pastry. Go to the gym and show you guys the incorrect and the correct way of doing some exercises. Yeah, so we're not going to bore you with how we do the um, donuts. So if you want the recipe, you can just comment below. It's going to be interesting. We purchased an air fryer, so we're going to test it out and show you the yummy donuts we're going to make. It's going to be really cool. Yeah, so we'll see you guys on that side. Okay guys, so we made some homemade donuts. I think we made about 18 donuts. Yeah, it's, it's small, but I mean, uh, each of us are gonna have nine of these. Yeah, so we made our normal glaze, and this is with sweetener, so it's sugar-free and fat-free, with some coloring and then milk. Then we made Nutella donuts, um, peanut butter donuts, and then a mix with Nutella, peanut butter, and cookies on it. And then with strawberries, Nutella with um, sprinkles, and yeah. And then, oh yeah, Nutella with chocolate. This is our Christmas man that we bought, so we used that chocolate with the Nutella. And that is all that we used. And this one here has uh, no sugar cookies on it. Yeah. I'm gonna enjoy some of these and they will give it a, a little bit of a taste test if it's good or not. So, we're not gonna bore you with the full recipes, etc. So, if you want the recipe, you can comment below. Um, but it's normal puff pastry that we bought in the stores and then we just baked it. So if you want the recipes of the toppings, comment below. Uh. Okay, so we're about halfway through all the donuts. I must say for puff pastry, it's, I mean, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. The calories and the macros on these things are going to be like perfect. My favorite donut was definitely I tasted his Nutella one with the chocolate on it. That was really good um, because it's nice and sweet. The others, well, I say, is all right. I just need more sweet things on the donut um, because the peanut butter is a little, a, a little bit salty, etc. So yeah, that's the only thing that I will do um, different next time. But I must say, it's, yeah. it's quite good. And I think next time we'll make it a little bit bigger. Mm. Uh, we literally bought one puff pastry, so maybe that's also why we made it so small. It's not too sweet, so if you are on a diet and you don't want to go to a Krispy Kreme intake too much fat, then this is definitely fine if you're craving stuff. Yeah. So we're going to finish this and then we'll see you guys at the gym. Cheers. So this is the military press. Um, you can see my hands is really far apart and this is not the correct way of doing things um, because you're gonna put strain on your shoulder and make sure it's not too heavy. So keep your hands in line with your shoulders. So lift the bar back up but as the starting position as you exhale and lower the bar down to the collarbone slowly as you inhale. That will create your momentum and make sure you don't go too heavy and um, because you're going to strain your shoulders. When doing a leg extension, make sure that you don't swing the weights, otherwise you're not exercising the muscle. As soon as we go over to the correct version, you can see you go up slowly and squeeze and then slowly lead down. As soon as you feel you're doing it wrong, just go a little bit lighter with the weights. Okay, so with this exercise, you can't bend your elbows and don't use your arms because it's going to work different muscle groups. Keep your arms straight aligned with your shoulders and move up and down with your shoulders and make sure you put the strain on your shoulders and pick up the barbell with your shoulders because that puts you in control of the barbell 
and this creates the momentum of the right muscle groups. <laughs> this exercise I've seen numerous times. All the weights are being packed onto this leg press and the exercise is just not done correctly. So if we look at the correct method, you can see you have to go completely down and when you go up, make sure that you don't lock your knees as this will put strain on your knees and you're not actually going to exercise the quads. With this exercise, you can't go too heavy because you need to keep your arms straight and you can't swing your arms up and down because you don't work the correct muscle group of your shoulder. So here you need to lift the, the dumbbells to your side with the slight bend on the elbows and the hands slightly tilted forward. Continue to go up until your arms are parallel to the floor. Exhale as you execute this movement and pause for a second at the top. The goblet squat. Make sure that your legs aren't close together as this will put straining on your knees and, and your back. So try to make sure that you actually take your legs a little bit further apart. And then when you go down, squeeze, go up, squeeze down, squeeze, up, squeeze. This is all about straightening on the knees as that's the problems that I have with my knees and I've seen this helps. So this is the same as the barbell shrug. Make sure you don't bend your elbows and use your arms for this exercise. So this is a bit different than the barbell shrug because you have more control of the barbell and you can go a bit heavier as well. So make sure you use your shoulders to pull up the barbell so that you can trigger the right muscle group as you move up. Bicep exercise and the preacher curl, when you do this swing type of exercise, yeah, you will feel a strain in your muscle, but you're not doing the exercise correctly. Uh, make sure that you have a full motion when you go down and then when you go up you have to squeeze it at the top i can't um, emphasize the squeeze enough uh, i've seen this work and this is all about the blood pump that it causes here you need to make sure that you do not swing the weight or bend at the elbows your torso should remain stationary throughout the movement So with this exercise, you need to slowly raise the plate as you exhale until it's a little above your shoulder level. As you inhale, slowly lower the plate back down to the starting position. Ah, the old swing method. So you go heavier and heavier, start swinging more and more, and you seem strong. But your muscles aren't getting the correct exercise. Make sure that you go down. It has to be straight in line with your shoulders. Uh, when you go down with the full motion, when you go up, another squeeze. Same problem, swinging of the weights and bringing the weights in front of your chest. Instead of to the side and in line with your arms. Make sure that you keep the motion and also keep the squeeze at the top, focusing on the bicep and not your shoulder what's up guys this is already the next day we already finished a workout session my wife's actually still busy um, just want to say thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it please like share and subscribe and then we'll see you guys at the next video peace out cheers Come